So the countdown is on. We are counting down the days to the by-election. It's coming up on June 25th. And don't forget, and joining me right now is Robert Parmenter. And if he looks familiar, that's because he's a huge member of this community. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Thank you for this uh, invitation. Well, thank you very much for joining us. So now for some constituents in Wood Buffalo who maybe aren't really familiar with you, do you want to give us a little bit of your background? Sure. Uh, I've been in Fort McMurray since uh, 1983. I uh, came here to uh, visit my sister and liked the community back then and decided to stay. And I've been here ever since and I believe in uh, giving back to the community. So during the past 30 years, been involved in uh, many different committees, many different groups uh, in the city. And anytime there's a special event happening, I like to be involved in giving back. So yeah, you may have seen me around town quite a bit. And, uh, and I do work a number of different jobs in town. So uh, I'm just a community guy who wants to give back to the community at this point in time. And that's wonderful. And so why did you personally decide that you wanted to run in this year's by-election? Well, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a number of years uh, since I've came, but uh, never ever realized or never ever felt that the time was right. So uh, this time around, I felt the time was right. Like, as I mentioned before, I served on a number of committees to get familiar with a lot of what's going on in McMurray and a lot of what the needs are. And I felt at this time that uh, it's time to uh, step up to the plate to go to the next level and uh, sit on council and be a voice for the people, as I know the other council members are as well, but, mm -hmm. uh, but to add my voice to the council and, uh, and to stand up and be, be part of the community that I live in. So looking at cur currently at council as it stands, what do you feel it might be lacking that you would bring to the table? Well, uh, looking at the current council, uh, I have a, a lot of faith and respect for the council, for the mayor and council that is in place right now. And in regards to, to lacking, uh, that's an interesting question, but uh, I would say what I can bring to the table right now is, uh, is a voice, I guess, from a different sector. Mm. Being a minister in town, uh, in the faith community, is one thing that uh, maybe that I could bring to the table from a lot of constituents in town that attend a, faith, a different faith in our community. So bringing that to the table, uh, as well as being involved with, uh, with the RCMP and a number of others, uh, with diversified transportation even, just different uh, voices or different opinions that I can bring to the table that maybe is not represented around there right now. And all of these people are constituents in, the, in this municipality. So that's, that's what I hope to bring and hope to add, a, a different voice, uh, a different perspective. And uh, as I mentioned before, I have great respect for the mayor and council that's in place. And I know a lot of them personally, so I think that I would be a great fit for the council. Okay, here's the tough question. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. here we go. So up here we're known for kind of a poor voter turnout. So mm. do you have any kind of ideas how to inspire the population to get out and vote on a municipal level? Well, that is, uh, that is a million dollar question. Uh, it's not only happening here, but happens all over, uh, our, over, all over this country in low voter turnout. But uh, I applaud the municipality for this time around, allowing the fact that we have 13 days to vote with the advance polls starting this Monday coming up. So, uh, you know, 13 different days to vote uh, and having different venues, not only here, but at McDonald Island, where there's a lot of people go through. And of course, uh, also the last voting day and also the ability to be at three of the sites this year. Uh, that is a big option that's going to ha help the turnout. But the only thing we can do is uh, if the people in this community and the people, the people in this municipality uh, want to have the person of their choice elected, they have to get out and vote. And uh, uh, if not, then they just got to sit back and kind of take who gets in. So if people want to interact with you or contact you at all, how is the best way to do that? Uh, they can contact me a number of ways. Uh, uh, you probably have not noticed a lot of my signs up around town at, uh, at the, up to the day. Anyway, they should be going up uh, this weekend and uh, two weeks uh, before the election. And they can contact me at uh, Robert Parmenter for council at gmail.com. And uh, I'll answer any questions that comes in through there. Perfect. Well, there you go. Thanks very much for your time, sir. And remember, get out and vote June 25th. Thanks for watching.